In this video, I would like to show you how to launch the Actions panel and to play basic actions. So the first thing that you can do is you can look on your workspace to find the Actions panel. It may be com, uh, collapsed or it might be small, and it looks like a play button. I don't have that available to me right now in the Essentials workspace, but a second option is to go to the Window menu and then choose Actions from the drop-down menu, and it will open the Actions panel. Applying an action is actually, I would say, super easy. It's creating actions that get tricky. Um, however, before I play an action, we would recommend that you create a history panel snapshot. Now, most of the preset actions that you'll see in Photoshop, the very first step in the action will be to create a snapshot because somebody who knows good practices when working in Photoshop has created these actions. But if someone's sharing an action with you or you're creating the action yourself, you may not remember that step. You may not remember that it's important to create the snapshot before you do all the editing for your action, um, just in case something goes horribly wrong and you have to get back to the original. And so what we'd recommend is before you do anything, create a snapshot via the history panel, which is a little um, camera at the bottom right hand corner of the history panel. Now we have a snapshot to go back to whether or not the actions that we're going to play have also included a snapshot. And so what I want to do is I want to play an action on this image of these mountains here and we'll just click through and, and see what works. So there's an option that says gradient map. I'm going to go ahead and select that and choose the triangle or the play button at the bottom of the actions panel. And then it will go through all the steps to apply a gradient map. You can see if we move these panels out of the way. Uh, that the image, we can close out of the history panel, the image now looks different. It has different um, effects that have been applied. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to the window history panel and you can go back to snapshot one. Now this was a good action and the very first snap was uh, the very first step in the action was to create its own snapshot and so now we have two but it's okay because two is better than zero. So let's try another one. Let's try quadrant colors and so when I select that and press play you can see very quickly it went through a bunch of steps and now I have an image that has four different colors on it. Again I'll go back to that history panel and turn go back to the first snapshot. Um, in addition to the presets that you're seeing, the default actions, if you hit the option flyout menu the bottom uh, handful of things that you see on the flyout menu are additional actions you can load. And so we could do production and see what are in the in the production um, set. And so you can change the size of your image to letter size, tabloid size. You can do custom RGB to grayscale or CMYK to grayscale formatting. I'm going to collapse that. You can also do text effects or image effects. Let's do image effects since I have an image open. But if I had text open, I could do text effects. Um, we can try lizard skin here and see what happens to our image when we try to make it look like lizard skin. I don't know if you can see, so I'll zoom in. It makes the texture of lizard skin. I don't think I like that, so we'll go to the window menu, history, and go back to snapshot one. Um, you can do a soft uh, posturize. Not so bad. Um, so there's a, there's a ton of different preset actions that all you have to do is either append them to the actions panel or use the ones that are in the default for you and it really is as simple as select one and choose play and then it will go through all of the actions until the action has been applied and so the one that I just applied was a wood frame 50 pixels wide and so you can see that I have one action that changed the look of my image to make it look like it was more like an illustration in a comic book and then I applied a frame to the edge to make it look like it's framed artwork. Okay, practice applying your own actions and then when you feel comfortable and confident that you can play an action, jump back to the slideshow and we'll continue with the lecture.